Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with Tech I Like. So this is a series where I go over all kinds of cool and awesome new tech. So it could be gadgets, it could be accessories, it could be gaming PC stuff, pretty much anything that's cool and I like as far as tech goes, I might just do a video on. So let's jump right on in. To start with, we have the MMO7 Gaming Mouse from Mad Cats. As you probably guessed from the name, this is a mouse aimed at playing MMOs like World of Warcraft, but of course it works for pretty much any other game too. It's finished in a glossy red and black, which I definitely like, but it does come in other colors as well. You'll find lots of programmable buttons, as well as a pair of mouse wheels on the body, and overall everything feels nice and tight. Flip the mouse over, and you'll find a small tool that you can pull out that lets you adjust the mouse, including the thumb rest, which is a nice touch. Unscrew the rubber piece on bottom, and you can also change the feel of the mouse by adding or removing the small metal weights. It's got a very nice tracking 6400 DPI sensor, as well as a dedicated button that you can use to change the sensitivity on the fly. This is basically the transformer of gaming mice. There's almost nothing you can't customize exactly how you want, which gets two big thumbs up from me. Next is something a little different, the Blue Lounge Mika Stand. If you've got a lot of Apple products, this fits in perfectly with a minimalist build that's made out of actual aluminum. It's mostly made as an iPad stand, so you can use it easily on your desk for example, and with two rubber ends to hold it up, it stays nice and secure. Even cooler is that you can fit bigger things like a MacBook with no sweat, especially if you want to use a monitor and keyboard and make the laptop get out of the way. Even though I'm not really sure why you would want to, you can even fit your smartphone on the Mika if you like. Overall, if you want a cool looking stand for your tablet or laptop, this is definitely something to take a look at. Now for something a little louder, we have the Eaton Rugged Ruckus Wireless Speaker. It looks pretty standard at first glance, but there's actually some cool features in here. First of all, it's a Bluetooth speaker and works fine with most phones and tablets after a quick pair, but if you take a look at the top, it's also got a solar panel to help recharge the internal battery. It's even slightly waterproof if you're taking it outside. The audio quality is pretty good. It can pump quite a bit of volume and it's got a decent amount of bass for a Bluetooth speaker. It can distort a bit with the louder volumes, but for the most part it's pretty awesome for stuff like parties. It also has a 3.5mm headphone jack if you don't want to use Bluetooth, and it can charge via micro USB if you're inside. One cool trick is that if you flip the included charge cable around, the Ruckus can use the solar panel to charge a smartphone or tablet instead. If you're looking for a pretty sweet wireless speaker, check the Ruckus out. So that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed, and of course if you want to know any more about anything that I talked about in the video, I will have links in the description of this video. I have a question for you though, what do you want me to go over next time on Tech I Like? Definitely be sure to leave your suggestions in the comments below. If you're interested in more, feel free to check out my review of the Samsung Galaxy S4. And if you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Tech I Like. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.